today I'm here with a mystery makeup haul and by that I mean I was in Amsterdam last month which I vlogged I will link to that down below um, but I was at the train station I had about 10 minutes to shop and I just went into the Kiko store and bought a bunch of stuff and I have left it in the bag ever since then I don't really remember exactly what I bought I know there's a lot of highlighters in here I figured we would just look through the bag together. So it's kind of a mystery haul, you know? You know when you're like on vacation and you need to buy stuff because you know, you're in a store that you've never been before and I've heard such great things about Kiko. It's near impossible to get in Canada, I think, in an easy way anyways. I don't think you can buy it in store anywhere. And the Kiko highlighter in the shade 208, their water eyeshadow, is the most beautiful golden highlighter. So I've had such a good experience with that. My friend was actually in Barcelona years ago and I was like, oh, can you go to a Kiko store for me? And she didn't even live in Toronto and she had to like bring it. It was a whole thing. But anyways, I was really happy with that. So I definitely wanted to try some more. So let's see what I bought. Oh, and if you're curious about this makeup look, I filmed an Instagram tutorial, so I will link to it down below. And I didn't really buy a ton, so it's not like a huge haul, but I figured like we would pick through together. And I always love getting to see what kind of makeup is available elsewhere. And I, in that vlog, I actually have a little shot of the store and they have so many products, so many different colors. It's all quite reasonably priced. The Canadian dollar is crap right now, but I spent in total 32 euros, but they had a great deal where I think it was like spend over 30 euros and get 30% off. So I spent about 46 euros and then I saved 14 euros. So 32 euros ends up being close to $60, I think. So that makes each of these products on average about 10 bucks each. So this is going to be a very chill haul, swatching everything on my hand. We're just like hanging out. So the first thing I got is the Metal Fusion Highlighting Drops. These are in the shade Gold Mine. And yeah, like I said, I bought mostly highlighters. So if you're not a highlighter person, <laughs> this may not be the place for you. But they look really beautiful. You can see them there on the back of my hand. And I've just heard so many good things about Kiko. Okay, so these are gorgeous. You can see they're not like the most intense ever, but I think they're going to be good for... Um, just on the tops of the cheekbones. I've gotten so into liquid highlighters lately. I think they can be great for more textured skin. I am working on a textured skin highlighter video, so this may show up in there, but this looks beautiful. There's no, there's almost like this, it's almost more of a satin than it is a shimmer, which I think is just so flattering on the skin. I think you could absolutely use this on the body, mix it in with a foundation. Um, it's gorgeous and that retailed for, can I even tell you, can I read this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this retailed for. Not that much. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So the next thing I got is the Everlasting Color Precision Lip Liner. This one is in the shade 404. And their lip liners seemed really creamy. I'm always looking for that great kind of like rosy, brownie nude lip liner. I have so many of them now because that's what I wear with just about every lip color. So this one is in the shade 404, like I mentioned. And I think, yeah. This is just like my kind of color. It's so flattering. Let me know if you would like a lip liner video on my favorite shades of lip liner because I feel like that's a little bit personal because it's very much attuned to my skin tone and what I like my lip colors to look like. Like today, I used a shade similar to this with a lighter peachier lip liner, with a lighter peachier lipstick, sorry, to make it work. So I don't know if you would all find that helpful or not, but I do have a few lip liners that I always reach for that like I cannot get enough of. And this kind of shade is definitely it. And it's really creamy. I feel like to the point where you could wear this all over your lips if you wanted to. And they had a ton of shades. Up next, I grabbed one of their, what's called their Smart Lipsticks in the shade 432. And I had also swatched their liquid lipsticks on my hands because I thought I was gonna get a chance to go back that's why I kind of went in and grabbed a few things and didn't really think about it but I didn't end up getting the chance to go back but I swatched one of their liquid lipsticks on my hands and it lasted like all day like super super long so this one is in the shade 432 oh is it in the shade smart I think it's their fusion lipstick in the shade smart perhaps or it's also number 42 if that's more clear to you but gorgeous shade good pick Samantha but this is just a, a regular kind of cream, cream formula lipstick. And that's the shade there. I think it's so nice. Let me put it on over what I have on here. Uh-huh. Ooh, it smells, kind of smells and looks like chocolate. Mm-hmm. 
That is a great shade. I can shop well even in a rush, but if you're interested in seeing more kind of international makeup things, I will link to um, a recent video I did with my boyfriend where he actually bought makeup for me in Serbia and I did the boyfriend buys my makeup challenge where he went and bought all my makeup in Serbia when he was home and then he brought it back to me and I put it all on my face. Hilarity ensues. It was a lot of fun. Um, but that's a gorgeous shade. I wish, if you have any idea how we can get Kiko in Canada, I don't think it's available in Ulta to ship to Canada. I'm not sure. I've looked into it, I've messaged them, and I think I've come to no end. But I feel like the way things are going in the beauty world, things are starting to become more available to Canadians and to everybody. But, because they have such good stuff. Um, and if you do have access to Kiko, let me know what your favorite things are. So I picked up some of the water eyeshadows, which I mentioned earlier. The shade 208 is the most perfect gold highlighter. If you like the type of gold highlighters that I like, if you're ever able to pick it up, it is gorgeous and it's super affordable, totally comparable to like Estee Lauder Heat Wave, Laura Geller Gilded Honey, like in that kind of vein and just beautiful quality. So I wanted to get more to be highlighters, but I don't think, let me see. I can't remember exactly what I bought. That's why this is a mystery. Okay, so, ooh, pretty colors. So I have the shade 218 here, which is kind of like this peachy gold, and then the shade 219, which is very similar, but definitely a little bit more pink. So I think I was thinking these could maybe be highlighters. They're also a very satisfying texture, like your finger just fits perfectly inside there. Um, I was thinking they could maybe be highlighters, if not, um, just great, great, beautiful eyeshadows. So if you can see there, 218, is it 218? This is probably a very messy video. <laughs> 218 is the more kind of orangey one and then 219 is the pink. And these come in a bunch of different shades but they're just the most smooth, um, incredibly beautiful. I think these could be great blush toppers or eyeshadows um, and they're very, very smooth and they don't, they're kind of that gelé texture where they just have such intense metallic but at the same time there's no glitter in there so that's why they're easily used on the face and they do also come in some more bright colors as well but I was kind of more interested in using these potentially as face products too so I wanted to get these shades very happy and then the last item I got is something else glowy. This is actually a highlighter for the face. It's the Glow Fusion Powder Highlighter in the shade number two. And I know that this is just a quick little video, but it felt wrong to me to have all of these products and not talk to you about them, if that makes sense, you know? Like, I was like, I have a bunch of new stuff, and I know it's, it can be interesting for me anyways to see, you know, new brands and new things, and I just like to know what people buy when they go into a store, so. I know this isn't the most epic of hauls, but um, so this is really nice. It's actually kind of the, okay, it looks really glowy. That looks gorgeous. It's like so metallic and so much intense sheen to it when it hits the right light. Like, can you see how it doesn't look like much? And then boom, 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 boom. But at the same time, again, it has that smoothness and no glitter to the point where I think it will just look so good on the skin. Let me put some on. It's a very interesting texture. Yes, so smooth. Can you see? I already had highlighter on. It may actually be better with a little bit of a denser brush, but yeah, that's gorgeous. It's so smooth on the skin, but again, still really delivers because you have some natural highlights that look really natural, but they they look natural on the skin because they don't have a ton of metallicness to them, they don't have shimmer, but this kind of gives you best of both worlds if you're looking for something very intense but you don't want it to have chunks on your face. And like I said, all of these products are pretty much under $10 Canadian each, which I think is just an amazing deal. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, I'm very happy with everything I bought. I'm glad I got to revisit this a month later. I've had it just sitting in the bag because I was like, I don't know if I should do a haul because there's only like six products, but I also don't want to start using them and not tell you. And you know, I kind of wanted to make it a little bit more fun and pick through the bag with you. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little haul and let me know down below if you have tried Kiko, what you like from them. If I ever make it back to a Kiko store, I know I'm definitely going to spend a little bit more time there because so far I am super impressed and I will definitely use some more of these items in upcoming videos so you can see them in action or perhaps on Instagram which is just at Samantha Jane YT um, but yeah very very happy especially this highlighter is gorgeous uh, and if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye